Hello, my name is Jim, and I'm a lab technician at the Center for TMJ and Sleep Apnea, Dr. Larry Pribble's office. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the oral sleep appliance called the EMA and how you go about making adjustments to it. Um, the first thing to note is that when you're making adjustments to any sleep appliance, um, you only do so if you are still snoring at night, having apnea events at night, um, waking up with drowsiness or have, being daytime sleepiness. Um, those things are indicators that you might need to adjust your appliance, but you never make adjustments to it unless your doctor recommends that and uh, most adjustments to sleep appliances are very minor um, because if you do too much too fast you can cause harm to your jaw joint um, because the main way oral appliances treat sleep apnea is they take your lower jaw and they move it forward which creates more space in your airway and allows more air to get to your lungs and decreases your apnea events at night um, so we'll get into this appliance here. Um, once again, it's called the EMA, and that stands for Elastic Mandibular Advancement. And how this works is it is an upper and lower two pieces of hard acrylic that is custom fit um, to only fit one person. It fits their teeth, and um, it has these buttons on the side or hooks, and these elastic bands that connect them, the upper and lower together and these elastic bands is what pulls the lower jaw forward. And how the EMA works is these buttons are 27 millimeters apart uh, usually. They can be 25, but normally they're 27 millimeters apart. And the different straps you can put on there, um, they start with number 21 and their numbers are on the side of them. Um, you can, the numbers are on the side and um, they go from 21 all the way down to 13 and the numbers just represent the length that the straps are so 21 means this is 21 millimeters long and how the straps work is the, the buttons are 27 millimeters apart and if you have a 21 number strap on there you then you start off with six millimeters of protrusion or your your mandible is protruded out push forward six millimeters and if you go all the way down to 13 um, then you can max out at 14 millimeters of protrusion um, a lot of the other sleep appliances max out at about five to six millimeters of protrusion so the EMA is a very good and flexible appliance to finding someone's range um, that would eliminate their apnea events um, there's a lot of flexibility with the jaw m movement there to find a good a good protrusion range and so the straps come in different colors as well each number from 21 to 13 come in white which is the most flexible of the straps yellow which is the second blue which is the third um, and clear which is the most rigid very little um, elasticity to these um, and so that just helps a, a patient if they have a very active jaw and they can move to side to side a lot um, you might want to put a more rigid strap on there it'll hold them in place a little better but to further their protrusion you must change the number of the strap the elasticity won't do much for that at all you must go from 21 to 20 20 to 19 and so on to protrude to protrude them more um, if you go from 21 to 20 you are just moving the jaw forward one millimeter so each strap is one millimeter increments. Um, and like we said, we'd like to adjust it in small increments. You never want to go from a 21 to a 17. Now that'd be too hard on the draw. So you just go slow and if you're, if you're still having symptoms, then you just keep, keep changing the straps about every three weeks. Um, but so anyway, how to, how to do this is the straps just pop right off the hook like so. and that separates it and so these over time these will begin to wear they'll begin to rip in the middle and they'll lose their uh, elasticity and then you know it's time to change and so to put it back on you just slide it over the front of the hook push down and you do the same to the lower
like so. And if you have a patient that has an EMA appliance and they're going to get a sleep study done, um, it is important for the sleep technician to know that that patient will bring with them a protocol. And that is a piece of paper that explains to the sleep technician exactly how we want them to titrate or adjust their appliance during the sleep study. So that patient will bring with them all the different numbered straps we want them to try dur during the sleep study and the sleep technician will know which straps to put on and when and hopefully during the sleep study they will find what strap works best for that patient to decrease or eliminate their apnea events. So that is the EMA appliance and how you adjust it. Thank you for watching this video.